Hey everyone, Flying Tucci here. Welcome back to Argentina. Fascist Argentina in uh, our next attempt on historical focus. We are going to conquer Paraguay very soon, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we are having 10 attacking armies with 3 artillery, so... And an anti-air. So, I think we are going to uh, do this. Um, I think they only have 4 units. It's the middle of 1 and 7, so I think that's the answer. So I think we can actually do this very quickly. Uh, let's see, because we are going to get the focus complete now. Oh, next day. There we go. Conquer Paraguay. And uh, we could do uh, the focus against Chile. But I will go with the war machine and get uh, three extra military factories for 35 days. Uh, we will not be at war with Chile anyway. Because we are at war with Paraguay, and I have no idea how long it's going to take. It can take a while, sometimes. So uh, we'll do this, we get three military factories. And we are going to declare war, because they are prepared, they have their planning ready. Some of the organization is not ready. Is that because we are just done with training? Yeah, so we wait a little bit longer. The aftermath of the Chilean earthquake, 8.3 magnitude. Whoa. Chile is weak. We should attack them. Um, but yeah, first Paraguay here. Let's get the organization up to... Uh... Let's wait for the maximum, actually. Uh, we have lots of political power. Um, we cannot really spend it on anything important. The German Reich claims Memel. Also with focus from Germany. They are expanding more and more diplomatically and they took this province of Mabel uh, most likely because there is living a German minor minority but yeah that's the whole thing back in the day Germans lived in a lot of territories in a minority so yeah what is going to happen there now I think we are ready now yeah 34 so let's start the war uh, no one is gonna help you boom and I will click the force attack bo uh, option. And we're going to micro this a bit because otherwise you lose too much equipment for nothing. Si, so the question is if we can actually beat this in Asuncion. Si, and we should attack them from two sides. And you guys are going to take this one. And over here we are just going to sit here I think. Unless we can win there as well. Si, Are all of you moving? Si, One, two. You are not moving. Uh, let's go here and then there. And you guys as well. Go here and then there. But I only see eight troops. But we have ten. So where are they? Two, three, five, seven. Oh, they are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and it looks like we are maybe winning. It's very difficult, because we have all these penalties, of course, and we have a river crossing from here as well. Uh, but now we are attacking over here. You're in the reserve, so maybe you guys should stop attacking. Oh yeah, I can't, because I have force attack. Oops. Go over the river, at least. Why are you guys not attacking here? Did I not tell you to attack here? I think I did. Microwing this is way better, by the way, guys. Because the AI makes really weird attacking decisions. It's going to cost us so much equipment and manpower. As you can see, we are losing... Uh... Oh, actually, it's not really showing up, but... Attacking costs a lot of equipment, and that is... Stopping the snowballing to be prepared against Brazil, so... We actually took Asuncion very quickly. I think I never did this before, so that is really helpful. We're gonna kill you off. Si, senor. And then I guess... We are going to start attacking this part. Now, Philadelphia is the uh, next one. And I think they have more units out of nowhere. I think they have made them quickly. 
Yeah, let's not attack where we are losing. That is a bit of a waste. Go over here. Defend that border. We don't have to defend here anymore. Now, this should be a very easy uh, win. You guys can actually go over here now. And we have another... No, we had civilian factory because we are repairing stuff. But we don't need to repair for long. So let's see where we're going to build more stuff here. Well, we only have 20% states. And the integration will take a little bit longer to start. Because the integration of territories is going to be... Um, I will do this focus as well first, I think. Get the land forts. So, this one, this one, this one, this one. It's four. Four focuses away. Hmm. So I think we're going to not build civilian factories here. We should build it somewhere else. Let's build uh, one here extra for now. Okay, let's keep uh, microing this and not lose too much men. How much did I lose already? 4,000? That is acceptable. We need a little bit more victory points. Guess when we take Philadelphia, we win the war. Yeah, that is a attack that is accepted. So then we can maybe lock this one in. No, it's not locked in. But yeah, they have certainly a lot of troops around. And we need to take Philadelphia if we want to win this war. So this is going to be the difficult part. Uh, yeah, you guys can rearrange yourself. Attention. And my attacking army is actually going only on these two tiles and try to take Philadelphia. Because that is the only thing we need to do to win the war. And there's nothing else we can do. Yeah, we can take this tile, but that will only make this troop reinforce this part more. So we don't want that to happen. We cannot stack wipe this one because it can retreat to this one, this province. If I take this province though, then I can kill this one. So let's try that one actually. Uh, let's use two units and try to attack here. And they should get a new attacking order so that they can get a planning bonus. Let's see if we can win and take the province. Okay, one of them is trying to... Uh, Retreat over there. So what I'm going to do now. Wait. Let's take these two. And stop them from going there. We have the war machine. That was very quick. So we have extra military factories. We are now making anti-tank as well. And I guess we still need the guns, right? Yeah, we need way more guns. Let's get at least one factory there. And... Where's the other one going? Trucks is fine. The trains are also fine. I guess we're going to get some support equipment, since that is something we are low on. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're not going to do the shilly one because we're still at war. We are going to go with the secure the borders. We get the forest trade on our commanders. That's also going to be helpful against Paraguay because that is completely in the forest. And we get forts against uh, the border with Chile and also Brazil. Because we are busy over here, so. Okay, are we going to get this? I think we will. Then this one is locked in. Stop their reinforcements. Yeah, we will get the tile. There's our tank. So we get a trade for our tank. Uh, we are going to make medium tanks eventually. So let's focus on all the medium stuff. Which is this part. So let's pick that one. So yeah, we can now make the interwar tank. That is good enough for the uh, flame companies. But therefore we need engineering too. But let's first get the industrial stuff because we absolutely need it. But yeah, we can now make the uh, 
interwar tanks from, from the First World War. Okay, we have landed over here. That means that we can now kill this unit. Oh, don't attack yet because apparently they are still having supply. So let's hold this line for a bit, I guess. Are you attacking? Yeah. Interesting. Do I still need more points? Yeah, we still need more points. We need Philadelphia and, we are, and they have four units over there, which is uh, a lot. Now, we don't need that many troops on this border anymore, so I'm going to cancel the uh, defensive stuff here. And the four attacking units are going to stay here. You guys are going to go to there, and the blue ones to there. We have four attacking units on this tile. I think that is fine. We do it like this. And then they can run around this one. Just press the H button, then they can reposition themselves again. Yeah, we have no troops over here, so they can actually walk in and take this. That is pretty annoying. But at least some trucks are going there. My truckies. Now, they are losing some organization because they have no supplies. So we give a small attacking order here. If the four units at this border. Yeah, I don't know why this is happening. Why did this order no longer have any units on it? Because only the four units that are at this front line are now here. So why did they go away from this one? I don't get it. But if I make a new one, then we can see that the six divisions are here. And the other four are attacking over here. It's a bit weird how that works. I don't understand it. And suddenly Paraguay is having 8,000 troops in the field. Because AI, I guess. I have no idea. But this is why the war against Paraguay is taking a long time. They suddenly make all these troops out of nowhere. Pretty weird. It's still an inferior enemy though. Okay, I will wait for these to get the planning bonus and then we attack. I could also wait for the secure the borders, but I want to win this war earlier actually. Because we have no time for this. We have no time for this nonsense. So let's see if we can win with this. It should be very easy to win because they have nothing. And there we go, the fate of Czechoslovakia happened. German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia, ostensibly to restore order to the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. In Prague, the occupying force announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiso. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. Boom. And Germany will declare war on Poland very soon. And then the war starts. There we go, that was a very easy uh, war. We, we popped that unit, then we will quickly send you guys to this offensive line. And you as well. There we go. Use the railways to get in position quickly. But they are not doing that, are they? Okay, they are already in position. Makes sense. And you guys are gonna go here now as well. Yeah, they are going to the front. How are we doing on our equipment? Somewhat fine. Come on, hurry up. And now we need to try to win this. Another point in our uh, infantry, we are going for this tree here, so let's go for the reliability. 
We upgrade the one that we have, and we will replenish that one with the upgrade. Without losing any uh, points. And I guess we're gonna go and attack this. Some of them are still not in position. Yeah, the goal is to take, Phila take Philadelphia, but they have four units there. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this and this. Okay, but I want you to, ta to attack Philadelphia, I think, because that is making way more sense. That is the war goal. Well, let's see if we can win this. It looks like it. Factory stuffs. Uh, let's get an extra civilian here as well. Well, yeah. And there as well. We still need to get more civilian factories. Are we going to win this attack over here? We have won that one. They will be pushed back. Are they going to reinforce? They are not reinforcing Philadelphia. Are you going to Philadelphia? Can I see this somewhere? No? Really? They tried a counter-attack and now I am attacking again. Interesting. They have no supplies, so if I can take this tile actually... Then we have them cut off completely. They are trying to reinforce, let's stop that. Let's make them not reinforce. This is costly, very costly attack, but that makes them not reinforce and that is worth a lot. Now we have Philadelphia, is that enough? No. <laughs> that is not enough. Wow. We need to kill everything. Maybe one more, maybe one more tile, actually. Okay, all the attacking units, attack over here, please. Attack. Come on, guys, we have no time for this. Okay, you guys can somewhat stop. Because this is very costly. Is that enough to win? No? Do we have to kill everything? I think we have to kill all the things. Uh, we do have a trade here though. Oh yeah, you are an engineer, so we can make you a forest a fortress buster. Or a scavenger. Are you gonna get more stuff? Because we want the infantry leader points, and I, I don't think if you can get unlimited trades. So let's wait actually with giving them trades. Well, if we're going to kill all these 9 troops over here, that's going to give us so much XP though. So maybe it's not a bad thing that this is happening. Oh yeah, we're going to kill them all. So this, look at this experience bar go up when the helmets pop over here. So this will go, we are going to level 4 immediately. Oh, but first we have Brazilian good neighbor policy. Fargas announced that the government seeks greater cooperation with the nations of South America. Um... You made a mistake, but you will know that later. Okay, I think the war will be over soon with uh, pa Paraguay, so we are going to go and take the focus with Chile. We can reach out to them. Or we do an ultimatum, that they will become a puppet. So we will do this one, um, and we are not going to improve our relations, because we want Chile to say no, because if Chile says no, we get an annex war goal. And for that we need to make sure that we put our navy in the docks, because we don't want to kill their navy. We want to take them, so we don't want to attack them. Now, let's see how quickly we get experience here and pop these 7 units. 81%, 84. The Zoc uh, of Albania is now part of Italy. Come on. We want you to le reach level 4. 90%. 90%. 
Mining tree. Ninety four, we have construction. It is nineteen thirty nine. We can get the better artillery and the better guns and the engineer, and I think that will be the researches that I'm gonna do. Let's start with the engineering company. So that we can make our light flame tanks. Ninety-seven, and we are leveled up. We have two-two now. Meh. So yeah, this was a very costly war. I think. How much did I lose? I lost fifteen thousand men. But we are on. Po uh, we are doing good with our supply. So it was a pretty good war, I would say. Okay, we have the engineer going. Let's get the better guns. And then we get the better artillery. Finally, Paraguay is off the map, so we are quickly going to make a new front line. If Chile. How many troops do you have? Okay, you have around 12 or 13. Now I'm going to use my garrisons to make a front line here to protect my uh, tip over here. And these six are going to make a defensive line here. We don't have that many troops. But let's see if we can do this quickly. Okay, there we go. We have conquered Paraguay. We have taken some planes and some other stuff. Some support equipment. That is really helpful. Uh, we are going to select all the states. We are going to annex them. And we cannot take their navy. So this is it. Thank you. And we are going to put our uh, horses on it with the secret police. So that we are going to put the resistance uh, low. It will go to 10%. That is very manageable. We don't need compliance. Because we are going to integrate them at, at some point. Now, let's see how strong Para uh, Chile is over here. Because we are going to get this thing going. We no longer get the effects from War Division, okay. We have huge amount of political power. We could get more oil, but then we need excavation number three. Now, we could keep that in mind. So that when we take an excavation, we will do excavation three. Because we can get, we can do that one. We don't need war support. We could use a bit of stability though. Maybe we should do the improved worker conditions once. You know what? Yeah. So we will go to maybe close to 100 stability. That is uh, very helpful. Oh, and we have naval experience. We wasted some points there. So let's quickly go and take the fleet and be in. Um, let's see, this is all the submarine stuff. I want to reach the Grand Battle Fleet one quickly, so that my battleships are going to be better. So let's make a rush to this, this straight over here. And I think the best one is the left one, because that gives my battleships better organization. So let's take the left row. The carriers are not going to be helpful right now, but maybe later in the game. Well, I'm not going to spend more points, because why would we? We are not going to use our navy yet. Okay, we have a lot of support equipment again. So maybe it's time to put the... The field hospital on? Yeah. And can we do the logistics as well? Yes, there we go. So now we need room for the supply for the uh, flame tanks over here. Perfect. Okay, well we do not have enough support equipment, but at least it's getting uh, getting it in a little bit. Let's give them a little bit of training. Maybe we can put them to the uh, next levels. Now, Chile does not have troops on all the parts of their borders, so 
we could make pockets and make sure that we are going to uh, take them down. Yeah, I don't like that we have tiles with no units. So I think for this war we need to put everything in one uh, commander, and we should put and we should use the attacking one. Is this the attacking one? Yes. So they all need to go to the attacking group. Except for these ones, because they are going to stay there. And I think now we will have enough troops that we have to have... What are you going to do? Why are you moving all the way from there to there? Why don't we use these troops to go there? That is something I still don't get about this game. That they are moving troops from here to here. Well, they can also move these troops here. It's so weird. But I will let them move around. And oh yeah, how are we doing with the planes? Yeah, we have some basic medium airframes from uh, Paraguay. Your tactical bombers. We're going to use them for close air support only. There we go. But at least we have a little bit more planes. Okay, let's move you around. Please use the railways when you can, because we don't have the time for all this crap. Italy pursues closer bond with Germany. Yep. Yeah. Italy joined the Germans. They're going to attack uh, very soon, I think. Let's add an extra unit of defense inventory, because I think we can manage it. The Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact has been uh, signed f between Germany and the Soviet Union. Which makes sure that everyone leaves them alone. And let's see if we can win this war against Chile. I hope they're gonna say no. They should because we have minus uh, relations. And hopefully we can take this war down quickly. We cannot see their stuff because we don't have enough intel. Which is a bit meh. I agree. But we can at least go here. And at least we have one unit on each tile. Next to Chile. And we're gonna get more because we are having a bird. Extra bird. Yeah, let's put the extra bird over here actually. I don't wanna lose this, uh, this fortification. More birds! We're gonna get more actually. Maybe we should just put them into the field so that we have uh, units uh, defending. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's get them in the field. And they should train up to the next, to the second level at least, so they don't have a penalty. Yes. We do have 100 army experience. Getting the um, superior firepower will give us 10% more soft attack, so I think I'm going to pick it. Uh, getting this one is really good as well, because we get more organization. But that's not going to happen in time, I think. But let's get some of these focuses. I think that is uh, very helpful. Now our manpower is going down. We could go and go limited conscription. But if I go with our own path, we have minus 25% conscription law cost. And I want to get that, actually. And then I will click it. So I think that will be the next focus. I want these guys to be uh, level 3. And then I stop training. Let's get this, uh, this, this garrisons to the next level. Yeah, you can stop training. Because we are going to get our CB very soon. 
There's a Chilean ultimatum. They should say no. Hopefully. Now we cannot do this one and get a uh, CB against the United Kingdom. Not we're gonna ha not gonna happen. Uh, we can get the NX Brazil, which we should do soonish. Then we can integrate our territories after that one. That will give us a huge amount of uh, of stuff. But maybe we should do our own path first. So that we can do our conscription lava cheaper. Yeah, and then we do the other two. Gonna start integrating everything. Uh, we still need more steel though. Let's trade another factory with Germany. And there we go. Chile refuses the ultimatum. And we will pick this option so that we gain the NX war goal against Chile. I will wait for this one to be ready. There we go. We stop training. We will let them prepare. And you should now have the, uh, the trade. You don't? Why do you not have the ranger trade? Flores, Peron, Marquez. You should have the Ranger trade. Why do you not have the Ranger trade? So there is a bug in the game. It's not working. But you have it now. And you as well. So maybe we should change the commanders. Why did he not get it? so stupid well are there a lot of forests over here it's just mountainous right yeah but against Brazil we will have it and we get the experience so I'm gonna change the commander with a ranger why did you not get it it's so stupid if I unassign you will you then get it no but you have all the experience now so you will have to keep going, because you have 50% experience. That is so stupid game, another bug in the game, so annoying. You did not get the ranger trade. Okay, we have to wait 12 days, because then he will be back. And then we are going to attack. No one should help you, normally. We have the advanced machine tools, so we're gonna make stuff quicker and better. Now, we are using the guns, now we need the artillery. We have all the artillery ready. We just need the support equipment. Do we still have enough trains? Yes, we have plenty of trains, okay, good. Everyone is ready, everyone is trained. We are going to attack here when he is back in one day. There we go. Declare war annex. And I think I'm gonna do this and see what happens. Yeah, my defensive units are now attacking as well, of course. It's going to be costly. Can you take this down? No, then stop attacking please. We need to mark we need to micro this because otherwise we are not gonna win. So we're gonna do this. Go here. Maybe go here. Maybe you guys uh Delay these people and you're gonna take that one. Try to make some uh, some pockets over here. Maybe you should stop attacking. Go over here. Okay. Keep an eye out over the situation. 
Okay, we are gonna take Copiapo. They are not moving. Can we... Okay, don't attack yet. yet. Go over here and then here. And you make them stuck in Santiago. You take that one. Then go here. You're almost there, I think. Yeah, and then help here. Indeed. You took that one. Uh, can you take this one down? Well, attack them to stop, stop them a bit over there, I guess. Let's try to kill them in this pocket over here. The same for that one, and of course the same here. You are pocketed, but there is no troop over here. Apparently there are going to be two queued over here. So I will let that happen, I guess. Yes. Attacking, good. And help over here. Kill this pocket. But they are not moving is, is very lucky. Uh, we have more unassigned units. Uh, you guys, go over here. Okay, looking good. Now the question is, can we take this pocket down as well? You guys need to stop attacking. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Go back to the fort, please. Military factories. We took some for, because we took Santiago. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, we still need a lot more support equipment. We have two factories there already. I think we still need more guns and then artillery and then support equipment. Gonna send you over here so you can kill that pocket. Um, that is not very helpful. Go over here. Um, take this tile. Let's just take the tiles and try to block them. You have no supplies over here. Yeah, go over here and then attack, please. We are moving here. Are you moving to uh, my fort? Oh, no, there's no fort here. There's a fort over here. Yeah, they are. So stay here. Yeah, that's more safe. Uh, can we do this? That is one tile, so we could easily defend it. If we win that battle. And when you are prepared again. You can go. I will use the force attack thing right now. Can you guys take this down and not make them escape? Yeah, perfect. What is this? <gasps> I forgot to put my fleet in the docks. Uh-oh. Luckily, they only found my convoys. Phew! Remember, we don't want to kill their fleet, we want to capture it. Can you win against the horsey? Yes, you can. Poland refuses the German ultimatum. We all know what's going to happen. Poland had to give Danzig to Germany, otherwise they would go well, to war. Or And there's the war against Poland, guys. The German Reich declared war on Poland. Boom. Germany could do all of that stuff for way too long. And we all know it. Okay, they are attacking me. Now that is interesting. Oh, we are going to win, I think. Good. What is this? Yeah, they got some convoys. That's fine. That is our convoys for the trade, I think, with... Uh... Poland joined the Allies. You guys, uh, one of you is going here and help here, and you are going to take these tiles. You're going to go here and help here as well, and that should be it, really. We have four divisions going this way. 
Take Anto Vagasta. We can just move in there, apparently. So let's go. And then take all of this. And then attack over here. We have killed the, the pocket here. You should get a lot of experience from the pockets. Yeah, that will be done. Can we take this one down? Maybe. We killed another pocket here. Good. Okay, that was a fantastic war. That was going very quickly. We gain uh, tons of infantry equipment. We get some trains, anti-tank, anti-air, some fighters again. And this time, yes, we will take all their territories. But we are also going to take their navy. There we go. And I will be right back because I need to take up the phone. And I'm back after the call. We are going to take their navy. What are we going to get? Chile gives the Bach Admirante Latori heavy early ship hull and 33% of screening ships to the Confederation of Argentina. We get the coastal defense ship and 33% screening ships to the Confederation. We are going to get their coastal defense ship and another 33% screening ships. I guess we could, this is their fleet name. Isn't is that the case? I think it is, but we're going to take everything. Boom. We have taken all the states and we have taken their navy. Boom. Look at that guys. Isn't that looking a, a, a lot better already? And I think because Brazil will join the allies in 1942. We should attack them early. Because then they will not get any help, I think. So we could just make a front line with Brazil for now. Uh, you guys can go in this army. We will uh, figure that out later. But let's take a look. Well, first of all, we have more factories now. And we can build one in our capital. So let's do that now. We have 25 civilian factories going along. Um, and let's take a look at the navy. Oh my goodness. Look at this ship. They have two heavy batteries. Oh, this, this ship is so good, guys. There is one ship. We're going to the battle fleet. What is this ship? Coastal defense ship with a medium. But you are a heavy cruiser, so I think you are a indeed a uh, capital ship. So let's put you into the navy. Uh, we have some submarines, so we're going to select all the submarines and put it at my own submarines. So we have 15 submarines right now. We have a coastal defense ship with a medium battery, so you are a screen ship indeed. I'm going to put you in my stuff here. It also counts for my light cruisers. These two are f uh, set as a big ship but they are not they are they are going into the screen part so we will make those screen ships and what else do we have here we have serrano class and we have two of these two what is what is the deal with these ships it's a level one cheap destroyer that we could maybe change into something else and what about these ones are you a bit better Okay, they do have everything. They have the torpedo, a death charge, but they also have a mine ray, uh, laying rails. What we can do is actually put two of these as, a, as our mine layers. Let's do this right now. So we pick two of them. And you will become my mine layer fleet. And we're going to lay some mines in the Cape Verde Strait. And I guess the rest of these ships of the Serrano class are just going to be screens. Because I can change that around, but yeah, let's just put them into the into the battle fleet here. There we go. And these two, the very weak 
ships over here. Can I change this right like this? Now your design has changed, but does that mean that your that this boat is now also changed? I guess it is, right? Do we not need to refit you? Apparently not. Apparently we don't have to refit. Uh, we don't need a submarine anymore. And we might not need the destroyer screens anymore. But you are now the Krabbies. Krabbies are gonna be red. I always make my Krabbies red. And your goal is to scare away uh, submarines. You are going to mine lay. I should not change this template because then all the ships will be will be done. Unless I can duplicate it. But I'm not sure that works here. Okay. The only thing we need now is a patrol ship, and then we have all the ship types already. So that is going to be perfect. Now let's wait until all the ships are uh, ready. Uh, you guys are gonna lay do be mine. Oh, you must be at war in order to activate mine laying. Oh, okay. So we cannot lay mines in peacetime. I thought we could. Uh, we are gonna repair a lot of our navies. And that's going to take a while, I see, so we will let that happen. At least the submarines are getting repaired quickly. So yeah, I will let everything repair and then we take a look at how many screens and heavy ships we have. And then we will make a decision what we are going to produce ourselves. But yeah, we have a big fleet now, really. With a couple of more heavy ships. I think only four though, but some of them are repairing and I can't see which one is a heavy ship. CA, I don't know what CA, I think it's a capital ship. So I think we have five capital ships now. So we need 20, 20 screen ships. Okay, well that will be the end for this video guys. In the next one we will continue and we will start getting a war goal against Brazil and attack them. We could go and fabricate on Bolivia and take them down. They have almost no army. Uh, Peru is a different uh, thing. Peru is actually uh, fascist. So I don't think we have to be... Uh, we, I don't think we have to go aggro against uh, Peru. But maybe we should fabricate a claim against... Uh, against Bolivia. It's 205 days. And how long does it take to go to Brazil? 70... Okay, no, we are first going to do Brazil. And yeah, we should get our Marines ready. We have a lot of things to do, but that will happen all in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this. I have a way better feeling about this. And I think we're going to succeed. And I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.